Right, we're off to the Norfolk Showground. We're going to the Norfolk Motorhome Show. show. Yeah, we uh, are. Motorhome and camper van show. Is it? Okay. Yep. It's just as long as it's just well there's a <laughs> camper van coming with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, Alison's following us along and yeah. uh, we're going to spend a couple of days there. A couple of days there, see how we get on. Uh, Alison's keen to have a look at a, an awning, so uh, yeah. we said she can borrow ours and see how she gets on with it. Okay then. Right, so Go. we're going to set off and we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Yep. All right. Okay then. Yeah, it's a big long contraflow on the A11. Have to be digging all this concrete bit up, don't you? Yeah. They? different entrance if you're a day visitor. Oh, I see. All right. Turn left onto Deering Road, then take the first left. I don't think it's no. here, is it? No. No, no, it's up no, there. That's the uh, park Obviously and ride. Obviously, she won't know where, where the camping bit no. is. So it's right here. Showground. Go around to the right here. Yeah, I remember this from last time. Grass looks very dry, doesn't it? Does. Marked out with um, tape, haven't they? Yeah. Nearly there, Pops. Nearly Pop. there. Long time for Poppy. Oh, not quite there yet, though. No, no. Up to there. 
arrived, they're here. Quite handy for the uh, the loos here, toilets behind us, and Elson emptying point. I think we were over there last year. Some of the clubs are over here, so the Motor Caravaners Club is over there. I'm sure in the end it'll be lovely. Just while it's going on, you think, oh, yeah. where are we going? Still a bit empty, isn't it? The Love Raw. <laughs> Vegan. Oh, okay. What else you got in the goodie bag? Anything exciting? Besides Love Raw. That, but Poppy won't, won't want that. Won't she? You sure you won't? She won't want that. No, she won't want that. <laughs> Poppy's having her lunch. Well, she's finished her lunch. A non-alcoholic gin and tonic. Okay, I have some of that then. What? Put the thing across. Goes we oh. lose Poppy. We um, lose Poppy. She's not going anywhere. A mango energy drink. So yeah. I might drink that in a minute. Oh, it's good. They feed you before you arrive. Yeah. Um, Else in here. Let's have some light in here. Weather's original. Weather's original. Sorry. Weathers. Oh, very nice. Show guide. Ah! Oh, show Poppy. And some dettle. Yeah. Two lots, ah! 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 Two lots of dettle. Poppy, please. Ah! Stop it. And then Poppy wants the to get usual, up here. Uh, load of adverts. A load of adverts. Thank you. What we're going to do is we're going to put our awning up against Alison's panel van and uh, Sarah Alison gets on with putting our awning out. Yeah. So let's do this on time lapse. Yeah, so we managed to get the um, blow-up awning up against Alison's van. It's worked okay. It's just rub a little bit against that door up there. I think it's because that, I don't know if you can see that, but the door sort of just pushes against the awning because the tunnel is quite close to where the awning is, which is quite surprising. But I suppose because the door's opening on it, it's a bit different from ours, isn't it? Yeah. So. I think it's all right. We've certainly got some nice space in here anyway. Yeah, so Alice is going to put her blow up uh, windbreak out as well. And we think we're going to put it on this entrance here so it sort of contain the dogs a bit. She's taken Alison's chair. So we're getting a chair out for her. So this creates quite a bit of space, doesn't it, with the windbreak? Yeah. Obviously we've got all in all in here. You sort of set that out, get a table ready for William and Week. Yeah, that's you? right. You can sit out in the garden. Relax, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think we could probably need to 
put this a bit straighter but this needed pegging down and we, of course we realised when we were putting it up it, you need to peg it down at the bottom as well but it seems very robust oh. I just watched you put this chair up now <laughs> yeah I just wanted to do a quick shout out for um, David Kenworthy who's kindly given us a couple of hats here and uh, <laughs> from Australia uh, so thank you for that David and um, just now we're going to go back well we're going to go into the show we never quite made Jenny's trying to avoid wasps she's running away from them so we're going to go into the show I'm going to find something to eat and tomorrow Saturday we're going to have a proper look around the show and see what there is to see. I'm going to meet up with Trevor and Sue, who we saw earlier from Posh Cats Camping, and we'll, well, apparently there's a Thai there, so uh, a Thai, um, what was it, a vegan Thai something or other. Are you having fun with that wasp? No. <laughs> is that why you're in there? Yeah, well, it's in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, if you come out here, it might follow you. Yeah, it's following you, there you go. Oh, good. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're going to have a look around the show tomorrow properly, but we'll have a little look around, see what there is to eat. So uh, stay with us and catch up with us later. Dash away. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? The H here. It's like suspicious, like electric camper van, doesn't it? Yes, it does. yeah, so we've got a Tesla with a matching trailer, and the same colour. It's the My Riders. Hey, Fox, what do you think to this? Yeah, might be more sky size. Or two doggies. Well, Alison can't find one small enough, so no. she might end up without one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got Thai food over there. there. There are some halloumi and chips over there at the kebab shop. This is a Thai, it's called Pad Thai. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so this is Jenny's original hairdryer, the one we use at home, and it has two settings. That one. And that's the most powerful one, I think. That's about six. Uh, and that's, that most powerful setting is 1600 watts. Or 700 watts. So she can use a hairdryer. We'll start over here actually because uh, these people have contacted me. Uh, pick kit fence. Oh, yes. Yeah, I thought it would be interesting because obviously we brought the dogs. Yeah. Hello. Right. <laughs> All right. So you need some real dogs in there. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're only bringing the stuff ones. Very well behaved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have to take it for a walk or anything. No, no. Yeah. Low, low maintenance. Yeah. So this is the fence then? This is the picket fence, yeah. Okay. Manufactured in the UK. Yeah, High impact uh, plastic. Okay. UV stable. All right, okay. And then you have a, a red clip where you... Uh, where you so you them. let yourself out? Let yourself out, yeah. Yeah, or the dog out, of course. Yeah, <laughs> anyone who's in. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, and just flat packs down, goes, oh, yeah. in, there, goes yeah. in the bag. Yeah. Easy storage. Okay. Six different oh, colours. Couple of cups. Six different. Yeah, six different colours. Oh wow. We've just got the sage green and the, yeah. the grey one today. And obviously you can peg it down as well. Yeah, you just see the, the full kit comes as it is. Yeah. Eight uh, panels, which is eight square, um, eight linear meters. All the support feet and all the rock pegs to oh, peg wow. it to the floor. And you get the safety clips. And basically, these are the yeah. Uh, yeah, the panels. So that's a panel. So you, a panel. you, you know, a pack of six then? A pack of eight. Pack of eight, right. Okay. And that's one metre. Yeah. So you get eight linear metres, or if it's in a square, you get four square metres. Yeah. It goes in four. 2.2 kilos. Right. Each one, so the pack is 20 kilos in total. Okay. 
and then basically you get the bag. Right. Uh, you get two bags that goes in the box. Okay. Um, and they're 299 delivered to your door so, anywhere so, in the UK. So I haven't heard of the these people before, Pick Kit Fence. How long has it been going? Uh, Pick Fence has been going since uh, January this year. Okay, so you are fairly new then? Yeah, we're very yeah. new. Um, the, the company behind it has been uh, doing engineering and manufacturing for 20 years. Right. Uh, which is uh, me and my wife. Yeah. We, we designed it. And, okay. Uh, we manufacture it in the North East All right. Yeah. It's fully UK made. We're a part of um, Made in Britain okay. membership. Um, Brilliant. It's all guaranteed. It's all been tested. Yeah. Um, Gale Force 9 wind tested. <laughs> um, and if you can break it, uh, it's a challenge. And any yeah. breakages are, are dealt with yeah. quickly from our customer service. We've got plenty of stock. Um, we launched on the Caravan and Motorhome Club. Okay. And we've had an amazing response. We had a really good response. Yeah. 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 Good response at Crufts as well. Crufts, yeah. we did a, a, yeah. a great. Uh, Excellent. And dogs don't, the, the, the don't particularly want to jump over it. No. A lot of people say, oh, the dog will jump over it. Well, I suppose it depends how big the dog is, but um, yeah, Sky here is not. If she sees something in the way, she won't go. Yeah, yeah, won't yeah. go through it. But the design also, with it, with it a moving object yeah. and not straight topped. Yeah. They don't like jumping over so it. So we could leave Poppy here with you, couldn't we, really? Poppy can stay <laughs> for as, as long as she wants, yeah, all weekend. <laughs> Collect your own Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear that, Pops? <laughs> I say we just leave Poppy here. Yeah. Yeah. Staying for a yeah. staycation. Yeah. She'll probably chew the dogs, but. <laughs> yeah, they've had plenty of uh, attention. Eh? The, uh, yeah. the dogs. So that's why you have your safety clip. So the, the dog can't nose the, the gate up. No. So it's simple. Unless you figure out how to undo the clip. Yeah, if you figure that out, they're. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty intelligent. They're yeah. And yeah, that's it. And you've got one here. Yeah. Your gate. Yeah. So basically, you put your gate anywhere, yeah. so it's any shape, any size, and your gate is just. Um, oh, I see, right. By there. Yeah. And what you do is you put your red clip yeah. where you want your gate. Right, okay. But your gate could be. Could anywhere be anywhere. Around. Okay, so you could have it like that as a pen, yeah. or presumably you could have it around the front of the motorhome as well. Yeah, well, there's some pictures on here, Bob. All right, yeah. And we've set it out in different um, different configurations. We've got the octagon, the square, yeah. and the square at the back of the motorhome. Yeah. And then just a rail around the motorhome. Right. So what, we, what we've done, uh, we've got the awning up there, and we'd put a, a windbreak that side, so you could yeah. use this yeah. like a windbreak. Obviously yeah, we've... Um, yeah. We've just had a picture in from someone who bought off the uh, so Caravan and Motorhome Club. A lovely setup with yeah. a, a caravan, the awning to one side. Yeah. And then coming out of the awning, we've put a, a, a big square, or yeah. two kits. Yeah. Big square that the dog can run straight out of the awning. Okay. Straight into its area on the grass. Yeah. Same. So a bit like a patio then? A bit like a patio, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Excellent. How much is the four pack? Four packs, £190 delivered. Right, okay. You need We're to giving work. an offer, um, an offer for members of the motorhome, caravan and motorhome, caravan and um, club. Oh, the leaflet. Uh, okay. The price includes any UK delivery. Okay. It just comes in the tea. Right bought. there, pops. Hey. You might want it, of course. <laughs> in there. You lift it up. Yeah. Oh, I see. In there, you've got your two bags. Okay. Yeah. So it's right. two bags in there. Normally, so you've yeah. got. A bag either side. Yeah. So what size is the bag? Is that that's that, that size? That is the bag there, yeah. So yeah, I mean my first impression with this is it just looks huge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But then that's for delivery, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Right, okay. So it's about the size of a solar panel. Yeah. 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 And it's just under ten kilos. Yeah. So ten kilos by, by size. Yeah. Yeah. So are they the thing about doors is around yeah. ten kilos. Yeah. So and that does is that that's this? Four four that's four, four, four. Yeah, four and yeah. four. Yeah. Right, okay. So that's your eight panel kit. Yeah. Your four panel kit just comes as one in a box. Right. right. Okay. The, the biggest seller is the eight panel kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's why we did it in two, so you can manage. Okay. I was size. saying, I, yeah. could see, I could see use in my, myself with a, of a four pack yeah. to go with my windbreak. Yes. Rather than as a separate yeah. pen, as it yeah. were. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because a four would fit round the door, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then yeah. if you look at, yeah. look at how it's presented in here. Look at that. Look at that. 
Right. And then a, a okay. Flat pack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, just next door we've got DG Motomes. <laughs> nice big garage there. This is a F-Line F70. There's a Ford. Automatic gearbox. We don't know, I mean... This is a Ford and obviously we've sort of grown to like the Ford cab. Shall we have a look? So this is a brand new in stock 68,000 69 8 F line F70. Can you have a look then? Oh yeah, it's quite um, light and airy in here isn't it? Is this the light wood they use on the yeah. water trails, yeah. don't we? Another bed up here. Drop down bed here. With the L-shaped sofa. There's a real four people in it. Yeah. Two sit there, two sit there. And yeah. then you've got that bed and you've got beds at the back. Do you know how long those beds are? Don't, don't know. Yeah. It's quite a... That's quite, quite a step up there. Step yeah. Up there. Yeah. 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 Well, and that obviously folds down. I can't do that because it's zipped up. I think they're probably okay. They look about six foot. Nice, nice uh, big freezer. Big like fridge freezer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Normally you have an, another tray in the bottom there. Yeah. Now you've got drop down thing there, and your controls and your heating controls all up there. Might be a problem there. Yeah, that's a, not, not an issue, is it? Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> Why did they do that? You'd you'd would struggle again with that because that's up on a little pedestal. Yeah, I know. Uh, up on a little thing. Yeah, and it's a bit close to the door, isn't it? Yeah. As well. Well, I think I think there's there is space that way, so you put your legs that way, but. Go on, you just go in there, you don't have to sit on it. No, no. Nice shower. Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, is it? No. That's alright, is it? That's alright. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I think it's on the same sort of level as the shower. Yeah, well, it's a good shower. How many trays there? Only one, one isn't it? Uh, one. But it's. You knew what I meant. <laughs> diverted quite well down, yeah. probably, rather. Right yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever the yeah. Shall I shut the door and see? Yeah, you shut Probably the door. Is. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's okay, yeah, is it? It's, you yeah. Know, just it doesn't. The, the door doesn't shut the back off though, does it? No, it's just purely for this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. No. Oh. <laughs> You're struggling with the heat, the, uh, the height there. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. I think I'm just about all right there. But, uh, yeah. No, I don't think so. You no. No. I'd, I'd have to stuff. duck, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. There's a I'll notice here. Yeah. It's a little bit low. Hang on. Sorry. You noticed yeah. something. We've got a shower door here, right? Yeah. So I thought, how this not tied back? Yeah. You've just got that. Yeah. And I can't see anything else, and I'm just thinking. That's a little clip, isn't it? Just like that. Yeah, but it, when you, you know, I understand that. But when you're driving along, would that rattle? Well, that's all that's securing it, isn't it? So it's going to do that. That's going to drive you nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And perhaps I don't know, get down with it, but yeah. it's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a bit of sun cream on your nose there. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I could get in the bed. But no. Little lockers here. We have got some lockers up the front. I mean, you'd expect that with auto trail with lockers, wouldn't you? Yeah. Go and see if you can get in the bed then. Yeah. Is that? Oh, you'd need another step. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And it's not you can. It's not the end of step, but not the end of the world, but. 
Uh, yeah, okay, somewhere to store your spare cushions. On the other side, is that hanging space? Yeah, I mean, when we looked at that really expensive frank here the other week, had a lovely thing that you could pull out. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a bit of a bath getting in there. Quite a big area. Yeah, it is. You've you got the heating. Uh, is it heating? Oh no, no, it's. You've got some uh, gubbins in there, haven't you? Fire extinguisher. Yeah. It's not in a place you can find easily, is it? No. Yeah. Looks like there's USB at the back there. More cupboards at the back. They're not too deep, those cupboards, so you're not too much trouble of banging your head because it's a long way off them, isn't it? But if it's the bed's not very long, your head might be right at that end. Yeah, but it's a way off your head, isn't it? So that's okay. I mean, I do like. I do like auto trials, don't get me wrong, but nice big cupboard here. Your Thetford uh, duplex. It's a grilling oven. And a separate three burner gas hob. Only a single electric point. A nice cupboard. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad, but it's not for us. Oh, just... <laughs> so, used auto roller 259 TL 51,500. Uh, it's fixed bed at the rear. That's 32,000 miles, so it's done a fair few miles. It's automatic and it's license friendly. A lot of seats, Jenny says. <laughs> do, you, do you mind? No, Thank that's you. it then, lots of seats. Go on, I'll, go on. Oh, I'm I've got to go first though, you don't want me filming your bottom, dear. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, so it's the Comfortmatic um, automatic gearbox, the robotized gearbox. I think these seats are fixed in place for Fairly obvious reasons. Double dinette. There we go. A nice big worktop surface. Actually got a compressor fridge. Yeah, that's interesting. Got a little oven. Yeah. Sink with wooden tops on it. Uh, three burner gas. Uh, cupboards. Yeah, I know, it's just interesting. Uh, definitely take lots of people with you. Yeah, need to. Yeah, to make use of it. Yeah, so a double dinette here. It's quite a nice drawer unit behind you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another one. Oh wow! Oh. I mean, these the drawers and auto rollers always seem <laughs> to be so big. You sit down for that, and it's like cups and pans and they're well secured as well. One yeah. screws coming out. Yeah. Are they all? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've seen that. Before. Uh, flat. Oh, no, it's just a front. It doesn't go very far, does no, it? No, uh, Presumably a pan drawer down the bottom there. No, same idea. Okay. Right. So you would make up a bed here, drop down bed there, and a French bed at the back here. Loads of lockers all the way around there. Hanging space. Uh, table extension as well in here. Presumably that extends that table out a bit more. Yeah. Oh, it's a good size. Washroom in the corner, a little bit of a squeeze to get through. A nice space in here, single drain. Yeah, it is a single drain. <laughs> it's got a showery, shower head in it, Joe. Yeah, I know, I noticed that. <laughs> Frosted windows, decent sink, and good mirror. <laughs> I say a little bit of a squeeze for me to get through there, but the toilet's the toilet would be fine for you, Jen. Yeah, yeah. 
I've decided it's back to it now. Yeah. Loads of drawers in here. Another one down there, and there's another one under there, and that seems to be fixed. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. yeah is that a compressor fridge? Yeah, I was just saying a compressor fridge, yeah. Right. What do you think about the oven? Well, it's an oven, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry, Sky. You've got six berths. You've got four seats here. Yeah. Two at the front. Then when you wake up the bed, you make this into a bed. Right. And then and that, that falls down. Yeah. Yeah. Double yeah. Double I mean, the seat there. belts on all the seats as well. So. Very comfortable seats. Where's, yeah. the, bed? Where's the port thing down bed? What's the what? Here. Here. Yeah. But I don't know. So does that go above the other bed? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah, so you would have to be okay. careful when you get up if you're sleeping downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And also, if you you want to get out of the upstairs bed and yeah. someone's sleeping in that one, yeah. you know, you'd, you'd have a ladder, you'd say. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to come oh, down okay. the ladder. Yeah. Okay. I suspect a lot of people would buy this would, had, would be for birth. Or you'd have two kids who go up there. That'd be the children, yeah. 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 So what's on the back then? Bar. A French bed. A French bed. What is a French bed? A French oh, bed is oh, where yeah. you've got a, a cut-off that allows you to get past it. You see, if, just, if you had, if it was square, oh, okay. if it was right. square, it would be out here. Yeah. Now the problem with French beds, of course, is that it's all right for the person yes. that side. The person here Doesn't is either have to feet. sleep this way or the legs dangle off the edge. Which is a little bit odd, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'd be really nice if someone came up with a solution yeah, yeah. for that. Even if it was a kind of a lift up, like, you know, like yeah. mine is as a pull out or something, yeah. a pull out thing. That's right. And that's the, the shower room there, I suppose. Yeah, the little shower room there. Right, yeah. That's not bad, is it? Like? No, it's a good sized shower room. I'll let you have a look. Yeah. You know, I was here originally, I was looking at the camper vans and with the lift pop up top. Yeah. I'm trying to see how you would climb up with a ladder for sleeping yeah. and what yeah. have you. Yeah. So this is a, squi a, a squape, <laughs> and a squape, a swift escape. 624 it's 30,000 pounds it's used 6.3 meters so it's not too long it's an end kitchen layout yeah, yeah go on here have a look now listen just going to nip in and have a look Two thousand and eleven. Well, there we go quite a step up to get in yeah. but you've got all your kitchen at the back here yeah. including the fridge it's a bigger um, and sink shower room than mine. yeah that's quite a good size shower room the basin's more sensible but I, yeah you know. you've got somewhere to put your toothpaste and yeah. sh uh, shower gels and that sort what of thing is that a heater then hmm? what would that thing be on the that's the toilet what the, oh i see yeah that's the flash system, unit system yeah yeah a cupboard there. That's a decent cupboard. Yeah, this, like I say, this reminds us very much of our. Get Sorry, the other one over. Yeah, reminds us very much of our Starfire, even down to the fire. Our oh, Starfire was 2006. This is 2011. This is 2011. Yeah, so not too much would have changed. Bear in mind, this is quite a narrow van for a coach built. You stay there. That's a good girl. He matches. The sky looks very good in this right Yeah, you've got matching colours, haven't you? It's okay, stay there, sweetie. Wait a minute. She doesn't like it when I disappear, does she? No. Hello, it's okay. She's here. Uh, she's just here. So what is it? This, this is one bed or? Yeah, well, that will be, the, all this will pull together, won't it? So, so this is this is how they make it a four berth. Well, there's this as well. Yeah, so you've got this, you've got a sofa, yeah. and then up you've got here. an over cab. Yeah. I mean, there's loads of space in here for a 6.3 metre van. It's quite incredible, really. Yeah. £30,000. It's not a huge amount of money. And it's not been used massively because, you know, it's no. all in good condition. Yeah. Telly would go there. You can't see the... Um... Well, this sofa, you could just sleep on the sofa. Yeah. You can't see the mileage, can you? you I think it said... What did the mileage say, Jane? Do you remember? Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. 25,000? Yeah. 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 So oh, it's nothing really. So I could have bought this for half the price yeah, of mine. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I wonder if that comes away, because that would make that wider. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, if you yeah. can lose that yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Well, just overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, yeah, that's right. This is quite, quite a lot. 
Oh, this is quite tight with this. She's going to sell her wild axe now. I'm going to sell my uh, <laughs> one year old van. Yeah. yeah, that's right. No, no, no. It's it's guys. It's guys. Yeah, 12 years. Guys coming 10. in. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, she could blend in. She could blend in. <laughs> yeah, they won't see her in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fridge as mine. No, no. My fridge Yours is a tower unit, isn't it? Yeah. Size, isn't it? Yeah. Don't think it's automatic, is it? No. 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 Well, does that matter? What do you mean? Well, yeah, it doesn't switch. Oh, to the fridge. Or, I thought yeah. you were talking about the. the I thought you were talking about motor. <laughs> no, I was talking about the fridge. Yeah, I think mine is an automatic switch to. Yeah. Did you check the toilet out? Yeah, it's fine, was it? It's fine, yeah. 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 No, didn't use right, it, no. Right level, yeah. Yeah, it looks alright. And it's um, slightly bigger shower than mine. I think yeah. it's a longer, and it's the same length as mine, isn't it? It's 6.3, yeah, I know, I know. I could have bought this for half the price, that's better. I know, I know. Would you sleep up the top there, though? I wouldn't need to. Yeah, you can see the mirrors are sort of mid sized mirrors, they don't. Not the smallest, and it is 2.02 wide. He says she likes to sleep in the garage. I didn't say that. <laughs> do you think, is that what you do, sleep in it? What? Does one person sleep in well, It's a bunk. It's, it is a bunk. You, you actually access it from inside, so it's not as daft as it seems. No, no. So but, I suppose uh, if you don't want to use it as a bunk... Well, this will lift can, up. Yeah, you can yeah, use it, can it use as a lift huge up. garage. It's not a massive storeroom, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, I see, yeah. It's different. That makes more sense when you look at <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to get out in the morning and have a bit of a view, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite, um, it's quite dark inside, isn't it? Yeah, it's dark wood inside, I think. Yeah. This is a Roller Team Zafiro or Zafiro. Six, seven, five, six berths, six belts, double bunk beds, and 3,500. And it's just under seven metres. It says payloads 535, which is not too bad, is it? How can it be that? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but it seems quite, quite good. I, I suspect with six people in it, the payload wouldn't be no. 535. No. Again, that's done 18, over 18,000 miles in. Yeah, so I think there's a, a couple of these are X higher, I, I would say. So it's 54,000. It's 21 reg, it's fairly new, but it's on 18,250 yeah, miles. Yeah. But it says they do motor and hire, so. Yeah, because. these people. Oh, so. Yeah, go yeah. on then, you're right. 21. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, over cab bed, reversing camera. Yeah. Might be a bargain for someone. Mm. Just hear me talking about a bargain at 54,000. <laughs> <laughs> That one's a bargain at 30500 Yeah, that's right. There are some. Well, it's, it is old, relatively, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's 12, yeah. 12 years old, 11 years old. The, just well, the, the we'll have a look at this. wear and tear of a vehicle. Yeah. Um, yes, that's that yeah. age, haven't you? So again, Sorry, we've fitted all in. <laughs> that's a Ford car, then. There Ford we go. Face. And if you look at the height on this, it's 3.2 metres with this big over cab here. <laughs> Easier to get into. And then, yeah. Ford cab. Massive area up there. Wow. There'll be a little ladder somewhere. Maybe can feel it. Huge locker. Right, feet off of that, please. And you've got a twin dinette here. I know we've looked at this before at the shows, but I mean, if you're prepared to put up with the height there and you've got kids with you, I think that would be brilliant. Have a look at the washroom first. It's a little bit dark in here with the dark wood, but that's not a bad washroom. You've got a little shelf behind it. I don't know if there's a light in here. It's a bit too dark really to show you properly here. But good sized shower, nice and square. Bit of a lip there, bit of a, but I think that would be okay. You might struggle to get in it, like we did. 
and at least you've got somewhere to store things in there. Nice fridge, good fridge. Freezer compartment. And draw down there. Of course this is the other thing, the um, bunk beds here. Yeah. Uh, huge, a double size bunk beds. So teenagers and adults could sleep in there quite easily. There's an very imposing vehicle. But yeah, very nice.